So to get that perfect barbecue, you use wood. Are you sure it's safe? Whatever. We put the lighter fluid on, strike the match, and... Oh. Should we call the fire department? That might be a good idea. Welcome to the Barbecue Central Show. The show where we talk about all things that are important in the world of barbecue. From big name interviews with competitors on the barbecue circuit, grill manufacturers and pit makers, to advice on cooking brisket and ribs. You'll find it all right here on the Barbecue Central Show. Your host, Greg Rempe, is a backyard barbecue and grilling fanatic and loves to talk about his passion, which many of us share together. You can learn more about barbecue and grilling by visiting the website the bbqcentral.com now let's get in the smoke here's your program host greg rempe welcome to the barbecue central show this is the show where we talk about all things important to the world of barbecue and grilling centralites how's your life we do originate from the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame city, dare I say it, and I will. The barbecue capital of the North Coast, Cleveland, Ohio, via the Barbecue Central Radio Networks. I am your program host, Greg Rampy. Happy to have you. A very good Tuesday evening to you, wherever you may be. Let me give you some contact information right up front if you want to get in touch with the show. You're more than welcome to do that in any form or fashion. You can do it via the new... Dare I say it, the new toll-free call-in number. Been a little on the edge about dialing the 216-220-0966 number. Well, that's still good. But if you want to go toll-free Jones, get down your pen, pencil, or some type of writing utensil and take this number down. 877-448-0433-877-448-0433 is the toll-free number to call in on if you want to. You can also email the show, as always, on the uh, bbqcentralradio at gmail.com email address, bbqcentralradio at gmail.com. Toll-free, 877-448-0433. Here's what's happening on the show tonight, a great show, as always, coming up here in about 14 past the hour co-founder and vice president of business development for a company called Innovative Barbecue Solutions. His name is Felipe Correa. They make a product called One Light Charcoal. You can find out more about that at onelightcharcoal.com, all spelled out in word terms, O-N-E, onelightcharcoal.com. Actually had my mitts on two bags of these, and... uh, Unfortunately, I screwed it up. Uh, in in my defense, the directions said to do one thing, and I kind of, I, I guess, it, and after talking with Felipe a little earlier today, you could make the, mis- the same mistake I did. The directions aren't necessarily as clear as I would like to say, um, and they're going to address that, but definitely... The reason that it probably didn't perform nearly as well as the package said it did is because I uh, left out a very large step. So next time I get my hands on some of that, I will step my game up. Step your game up. No doubt about it. I will step it up. So look for Felipe Correa right around 14 past the hour or about 11 minutes from now. 34 past the hour, regular monthly contributor Derek Riches from About.com. You can find him at bbq.about.com will be on the show, and we'll be talking about what's the latest, greatest stuff in the barbecue and grilling world. A couple of uh, different cookers to look at. The Big Easy, made by Charbroil, that infrared turkey thing, now has uh, has been revamped in some form or fashion to make it kind of an all-inclusive cooker, so we'll talk about that. Also, this thing called, uh, what was it called, the Big the big Steel Pot, or something like that. Looked pretty, pretty nifty there on the website that I saw. And what... Derek has also had his hands on One Light Charcoal, so we'll probably ask him about his experience with that and uh, how well he thinks that's positioned to take over some market share when it comes to charcoal. So Derek Rich is 34 past the hour. Again, he's from about.com. bbq.about.com is his specific blog. After Dark guest, I'm sorry, before the After Dark guest, we have the fourth segment giveaways to include the Frog Mats, Mike Riblet, and uh, the good folks down there at Frog Mat giving those away. Wood smoke products from Tim Bryan over at Green Leaf Barbecue. That's greenleafbbq.com. And, of course, the Cosmos Q Injection Pack, which 
you get a beef injection, a pork injection, and a chicken soak. So uh, appreciate Darian hooking us up from Cosmos Cues on the giveaway side. And then after dark, uh, right around 10.05, 10.03, smoking guitar player himself, sponsor of the show, and more importantly than that, friend of the show, Fred Bernardo of Fred's Music and BBQ.com will be on to talk pretty much about uh, all things related to the world of barbecue and grilling. One of the most respected and trusted online retailers of all barbecue and grilling wares. Plus, he is a master. Can you be a master guitar player? I don't know if you can be a master guitar player or not, but he is the the self-proclaimed smoking guitar player. That's what I forgot it there for a second. He's the smoking guitar player. So look for Fred Bernardo after dark. And uh, that's what's happening on the show. Once again, toll-free, 877-448-0433. You can email the show, bbqcentralradio at gmail.com. So how uh, how's your Olympic viewing? I know I had a brief take about cross-country skiing last week, about how it looks like a frat party at 3 a.m. in the morning at the finish line with all the skiers strewn about with bits of vomit after they've sold out for their sprint race. It always seems that, you know, even in marathons or 100-yard dashes or 5,000-meter runs, they all seem to keep their feet. But different take today. You know, I'm not a big hockey fan at all. As a matter of fact, I'm like most U.S. Americans. I hate hockey. It's ridiculous. It's like soccer on ice. The only good part about the hockey part is, unlike soccer where they're a bunch of flop addicts, these guys actually throw down and fist fight quite often, which I appreciate and adore in in many shapes and sizes. But other than that, I mean, I just can't get with it. All that being said, and I know this take is just a few days late, but look, I only get on the air once a week, so you have to bear with me. USA beating Canada. Canada, one question. Tell me how my ass tastes. Yeah. (laughs) How about that? Yeah. 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 We beat you. At the sport that you invented. That would be like a Spanish team that plays football coming over and working the St. Louis Rams. Or working, well that could probably happen actually, like working the New Orleans Saints or the Indianapolis Colts. I mean that's really what it's like. We took your sport and beat you at it. Never mind the fact that you can't keep your best players. They all come to the United States. You know what I'm saying? All the great players from Canada come to the United States to get that money. But the simple fact that you guys are supposed to roll through hockey and win the gold medal and you had to come and face the bloody Americans. And we smacked you around plenty. <sighs> Gotta say it again. Tell me how my ass tastes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. You're doing well tonight. You're doing well tonight, and we certainly have that to look forward to. So, Canada, sorry to beat you at your own game. It was bound to happen. You guys were playing very tight. We just exploited it. What can I tell you? We had a great game. There you go. Once again, 877-448-0433 is the new toll-free number to call in Call in on bbqcentralradio at gmail.com. I tried out Suckle Busters, Texas Heat Chipotle Pepper Sauce. Dan Arnold is the guy that makes that down there. This stuff is freaking awesome. A great smoky flavor, nice heat, probably on the 5 or 6 on the heat scale as far as the hot side is concerned. I don't know how much it is right off the top of my head. If this stuff was $25 a bottle, I would buy it by the caseload. I loved it. I went through a whole bottle in a day and a half. It is freaking phenomenal. It's the Texas Heat Chipotle Pepper Sauce. If you're into pepper sauces, this is one you have to try at SuckleBusters.com. They have a bunch of other award-winning stuff, too. So, uh, Before we break, let me tell you about the Rivelator. You know who I'm talking about? Talked about them. For the last six or seven weeks. But guess what? Now the Ribolator is available on the 22 and a half inch Weber Kettle models. That's right. Ugly Drum Smokers as well. Uh, they only have 250 for the 22 and a half inch Weber Kettles. 100 are already gone, so you cannot delay your orders. You want to go to Ribolator, R I B O L A T O R, Ribolator.com to order your 22 and a half inch Ribolator for the Weber Kettle. And we can also continue the offer. Uh, the first 25 people in, you can try it free for 30 days. No credit card, no firstborn, just your word. They'll even pay for return shipping if you don't like it. You don't even have to clean it after you use it. Rivelator.com. Stay tuned for Felipe Correa from One Light Charcoal. Stand by.
Introducing Cosmos Q. Cosmos injections and marinades use only the finest ingredients, and they mix easily, never clotting or caking. From our beef injection to our pork injection, you're guaranteed to wow your friends, family, and judges. And don't forget to check out our newest marinade, Cosmos Chicken Soak, for that moist and tender chicken you're gonna love. You can find all of Cosmos award-winning products at CosmosQ.com. Cosmos Q, the new generation. Taste the difference. The future of barbecue is already here at TheBarbecueGuru.com. From the amazing guru that monitors and controls the temperatures of any charcoal, wood, or electric pit to the Caldera Tallboy knockdown smoker. Yes, it breaks down and stores flat, yet it's still a robust, sturdy, portable cooker and smokehouse. It also serves as an efficient temperature-controlled convection oven using wood or charcoal. The Tallboy is designed to fit all catering pans and can be used as a warming oven. You can cook in any style you choose, like ribs, chicken, jerky, vegetables, smoke. Jeez, whatever you want. Take it to KCBS competitions and unload it from the truck of your car. The BarbecueGuru.com is where you'll find the Caldera 3-Bay Caterer. It's stainless steel and uses charcoal or sterno for chafing purposes. And it doubles as a 3-Bay sink or wash station with hot water and knocks down in seconds with no tools required for transportation and storage. The future of barbecue is here at the BarbecueGuru.com. That's www.thebbqguru.com. Or call one 800 288 Guru. Hey gang, Rempy here, and you know, I think we can all agree that some of the best tasting food that we've ever had has come off of a rotisserie cooker. But until now, we've been very limited with what we can do on our existing spit rod and motor. Introducing the newest product in barbecue technology called the Ribolator. Now, the Ribolator installs on your existing spit rod and motor in just minutes, allowing you to rotisserie foods that you never thought possible. Imagine on one tray having a rack of ribs and on the other tray, hot dogs and hamburgers. How about on the third tray? Chicken pieces. And then on the fourth tray, succulent fish. What? The Ribolator fits medium to large gas grills as well as 55-gallon ugly drum smokers. There's even a new model that will be available soon to fit 22-and-a-half-inch Weber kettle grills. Go to Ribolator.com to order. That's R-I-B-O-L-A-T-O-R.com. Ribolator.com. Or give B-O-B a call at 206-999-0962. You'll definitely love this thing. Barbecue fans travel from all over the country to learn the secrets of real pit barbecue from Grand Champion Pitmaster Conrad Haskins. Now take your skills to the next level with a Barbecue Institute Pitmaster class. You'll learn how to make sauces, rubs, and smoke mouth-watering barbecue every time you cook. Your new skills will impress friends and family, and some of our graduates have gone on to success with barbecue businesses and TV fame. For more information, visit bbqclass.com. Hey, gang, want to talk to you real quick about something that's very important when you're buying stuff online. You need to deal with a company that is reputable and knows what they're doing, and that's why I always recommend Fred Bernardo of Fred's Music and BBQ.com. We all know that Fred's Music is the barbecue and grilling superstore from any kind of cooker you want to gas and charcoal grills and all the accoutrements in between to make your barbecue and grilling experience a success. But more important than all of that, Fred has been there and Fred will be there in the future. How many times have you heard the story about the guy that found that great cooker for a ridiculously low price, except it was back ordered for 10 months, or worse yet, he paid up front and never got the product? That's because some of these online retailers are here one day and gone the next. Fred has the inventory to meet your needs. It's competitively priced and shipped promptly. Shop where I shop. Fred's Music and BBQ.com. Headache-free guaranteed. Fred's Music and BBQ.com. Or, if you're in Shillington, Pennsylvania, stop by and see the smoking guitar player himself. Get in the smoke. It's the Barbecue Central Show. Once again, here's your host, Greg Rempe. All right, welcome back. It's the Barbecue Central Show here on the Barbecue Central Radio Networks. This portion of the show brought to you by Yoder Smoky Mountain Barbecue. They are the leading online retailer of Meadow Creek barbecue equipment. These barbecue smokers, pig roasters, chicken cookers, and grills are handcrafted in the Amish country of Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And their goal is to give you outstanding value for the price and enjoy easy and profitable barbecues for years to come. They also carry a complete line of wonderful rubs and sauces. Check them out online at Sirius BBQs. That's BBQS Sirius bbqs.com it's great folks over at Yoder's Smoky Mountain Barbecue alright joining me now to talk a little one light charcoal talk 
He is the co-founder and VP of business development for Innovative Barbecue Solutions. Give it up for Felipe Correa. Felipe, thanks for joining me tonight. Hey, Greg, how are you? I'm doing very well. Thanks for taking the time out to talk to me tonight. And uh, we'll, we'll get sure, into thank we'll you get for in, me on the show. Oh, absolutely, my pleasure. And we'll get into the product here in just a second. But you know, I was kind of wondering as far as your background, was barbecue and grilling something that was kind of prevalent in the family as you were growing up? Well, uh, actually, I was uh, I was born in uh, in South America in Chile, um, like Argentina and Chile. The Southern Cone down there is very big on barbecue. My family did grill quite a bit, but um, I really got my feet wet uh, living here in Austin for the last 12 years is where I really got into growing. And, uh, you know, between friends and family, it's always been, um, I would love to say, nearly a two- or three-week uh, affair. So um, nearly uh, just about every other day we're, we're doing something around the grill. Is the barbecue meat and, and how it's done uh, quite varied from Chile as it is up here in, in the States? It's a little bit different. I think the uh, the cuts uh, used down there are a little bit different than here. Um, uh, in Chile, uh, in Argentina, there's really much less uh, smoking uh, as they would here of the meats, which is the uh, the uh, traditional uh, barbecue uh, style of grilling here, at least in Texas or in the South. Uh, so it really, you can consider it more of a grilling um, or open fire uh, type grilling. And uh, typically, uh, a lot of people do it a lot more over wood than they would over uh, either you know charcoal briquettes or uh, lump charcoal like they do here in the states. Definitely no uh, no briquettes in uh, no briquettes in uh, in South America. Uh, it's either uh, charcoal wood or uh, or uh, just um, natural wood by itself. So there's some differences, and uh, I think the tastes differ um, substantially on on the way it's cooked and spices. But um, you know, I'm pretty used to uh, the way the Texans do it now, so it's it's pretty good stuff. Felipe Correa joining us. He is the VP of Business Development for Innovative Barbecue Solutions, a company that makes One Light Charcoal. So, Felipe, why don't you go ahead and give us a story of where One Light Charcoal, the product, kind of enters your mind and, and how we build from there. Sure. The, um, the, well, the, the, uh, the product itself um, uh, conceptually uh, came about about six years ago here out of Austin. Uh, literally sitting around the grill, um, having a couple of party libations, uh, really enjoying my time with friends and family. And the whole concept was uh, uh, how to get uh, how to get air into a bag to um, somewhat emulate the uh, the use of the the very popular metal chimney that uh, folks use for grilling right. uh, all over the states. Um, the concept was how to, how could we possibly get this uh, this chimney into the bag to allow air. Uh, to to breathe by itself uh, and uh, into the bag uh, without ever having to use um, lighter fluid. I'm sure that a lot of your listeners would would agree that although lighter fluid is uh, is quick and simple to use, it, it definitely has a, a negative effect on the taste of the food. Um, it's not very handy or safe to uh, to keep around the house, and of course, uh, it's not environmentally friendly uh, whatsoever. It is a petroleum distillate, distillate after all. Uh, we always say um, that uh, if you're going to be using lighter fluid, it's almost like grilling over your tailpipe. Uh, in some ways, that's that's uh, that's true. And um, the product, after uh, a lot of R&D, um, we were able to launch the product in 2008. Um, it's uh, it's again it's the first bag that comes uh, uh, with a built-in chimney uh, that uses uh, air and paper to light instead of any harmful accelerants. Uh, we have the product in. The, um, through four retailers now nationwide, uh, mostly in the Southwest market, however, in these retailers. And um, it's uh, we're hoping for 2010 to really be a fantastic year. So for the people that haven't seen the product, it kind of paint a verbal picture for us and how the process is you actually go about lighting it and what kind of charcoal is actually in there. Sure. The, the way that it works is uh, the bag... It pretty much looks like a normal charcoal bag, except the bag is always standing up. It never lays down flat, either on the shelf or at home. And that's due to the fact that it has a central chimney built in in the middle. So the way that it works, you would just take one of our bags, you would set it down on your grill, uh, you would open up the top. Once once you open up the top, you would look in the, in the dead center of the bag, and you'd see uh, a chimney. Uh, inside of this chimney, there's... Uh, there's an, what we call an insert, which is a, a box, a rectangular box that slides into the chimney. Now, when you open it, you pull this box out of the chimney. What that does is um, open the chimney and um, allows you almost to look all the way through, actually. Um, 
the uh, the box itself carries uh, several uh, long stem matches which are lit on that same box that's pulled out of the chimney and placed or dropped directly into that now open chimney. So I know that it sounds a little bit difficult to understand. It's uh, sometimes visually difficult to, to get it across, but just imagine a normal charcoal bag that has a built-in chimney and um, the matches come inside of this chimney um, and everything is, is built in and ready to go all in one. Um, and the way that it works is once you drop this match into the built-in chimney, that center in the bag, the bag begins to burn from the inside out, allowing the charcoal to really roast and use convection um, without ever having to use any kind of accelerant. Um, obviously, there, there are no flare-ups uh, with the bag uh, due to that same fact. Now, our bag, when it comes to uh, flavors and tastes or uh, types of charcoal, it's pretty. Uh, our, our bag is really quite agnostic, and it was designed to uh, to work with many different types of um, charcoal, including the the more traditional uh, lump charcoal, uh, mesquite, oak, anything else you want to put in there. And it also works very well with uh, briquettes, whether it be the traditional Kingsford type briquettes or more of a natural type um, uh, vegetable-based uh, briquettes that are pretty much made from uh, oak or, or mesquite, natural briquettes, I guess is what they call them in the market. Uh, there's also some uh, other types of uh, exotic woods that are uh, coming into the market, albeit slowly, which are great sustainable sources like um, like uh, bamboo uh, and even coconut shells, which are being used in other parts of the world that actually produce great heat, uh, a lot of BTUs, and um, have decent taste. And only an idiot wouldn't realize that you need to take that big uh, cardboard thing out of the middle to expose the chimney, right? <laughs> <laughs> Different story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gee, I, I just don't imagine anybody doing that, Greg. I know. Inside joke that the central lights <laughs> don't get, but that's all right. Sometimes the best jokes are the inside ones. Uh, what kind of a price Absolutely. point can you? Uh, what, what kind of a price point are we looking at for these? Uh, the suggested so retail price uh, on uh, every bag is two ninety seven. That's two dollars and ninety seven cents, um, and both the mesquite and hardwood charcoal. Uh, are three pounds and the natural briquette which we're launching later this year is four pounds but it is also 297 so we say that a bag can typically feed anywhere from two to eight people the bags are not meant to be you know for for smoking for a whole weekend or for large large parties they're uh, more oriented towards two to eight people and uh, obviously they make uh, great starters which we found that a lot of smokers are using our product for that instead of uh Having to use uh, tons of wood or spending time lighting the product um, or lighting their uh, their fires, they use our products because it's so easy and convenient and uh, and clean. Yeah, it sounds like you know it's kind of an all inclusive, uh, one bag, uh, one solution shop. Whether you're going camping or if you're going to the beach or whether you're just like me, you can't realize uh, how to figure out how, how to actually light it. But once it gets going, uh, you know the the coals burnt uh, for a substantial amount of time. And what I thought, at least about the lump charcoal, was the chunks themselves. Uh, had a lot of integrity to them. They were nice, solid, and, and all even. It wasn't like you had a lot of ash that had kind of broken down during travel or, or during uh, settling down. So that was uh, very nice to yeah. see. Uh, one of the other things I want to talk to you about, you know, on the bag itself, there are a number of mentions about green, and that seems to be a very mm-hmm. hot catch term these days, things being green. And then, of course, you have the green experts looking yeah. at the items that are being called green and trying to call greenwashing yeah. here or there. So let's talk about that for a second. Uh, do you have to meet any type of requirement in order to put the term green on your bag uh, or what kind of process are you using in order to, to feel confident that you're not green washing? Uh, I, I, there's no, um, there's no trade group that, uh, would limit us on any claims that we put on our product regarding our brand, uh, technically speaking. However, uh, in order to, uh, to sell the product, um, and to to the consumer in an honest way, as well as have retailers carry the product for you that uh, that provide value to the consumer and that are legitimate uh, or or green, uh, we do have to make a uh, a case, and we do uh, on the way that our product is uh, is manufactured and what uh, what the end consumer um, uh, takes from it. Now. That's a great question, and you're right, Craig. There's a lot of products out there that call themselves green this, environmental friendly that, 
and uh, sometimes they're not. We feel like we are the most environmentally friendly uh, way to start your charcoal, um, apart from the you know typical charcoal metal grill, which is uh, you know which is, is is very environmentally friendly. It's just very complicated mm-hmm. and very hot to keep around. But the you have to look at the green with our product and. Uh, in, from a couple of angles, one is the lighter fluid, uh, which we make obsolete uh, with our product by the use of the internal chimney. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, with our product, you know, 75% of the of the of the market of the grillers out there use lighter fluid, whether it's sprayed on or impregnated in the charcoal. You know, you're talking about 14,500 tons of VOCs released annually in the U.S. just from lighter fluid. Um, if you look at that even more technically, that Pollution release, released is uh, equivalent to approximately um, 400,000 cars, exhaust from uh, 400,000 cars. doesn't sound like a whole lot, but it, it really is um, substantial. Sure. Um, so we really took care uh, to get lighter fluid out of the way was, was our first goal. The second goal is, is the back of the house that we, like, that we like to call where the charcoal comes from, what type of wood we're using, and mm-hmm. what kind of packaging we're using. Right. Um, wh- one of the things that we don't use, um, for example, is normal briquettes. Uh, briquettes are coal-based and not wood-based, and it's a non-renewable resource, coal. Um, and we use uh, – most of our wood is uh, you know, mesquite and lump, but if we use briquette, it's made from natural wood, not, not, uh, not coal. And the woods that we source uh, are either uh, waste woods that come from – uh, the byproduct of other industries, A, or B, uh, they come from uh, farms that are certified sustainable by uh, different entities, whether they be national or international, uh, that provide a consistent uh, consistent uh, product, but without ever cutting down trees um, or farming out of control, which uh, used to happen quite often and big plots of lands were being you know, destroyed. Uh, now that's all very well managed, and uh, we feel like we have some good certifications uh, with our vendor partners that provide uh, charcoal for us, that we've done a pretty good job in, in sourcing that um, through different uh, certified entities, uh, both here in the U.S. and internationally. The third way to look at it is um, the type of wood that we use, obviously, is one, it's sustainable, but it's also carbon neutral, which is really something that people don't think often about with, uh, with wood. Um, unlike, uh, for example, gas grilling, gas grilling obviously is not uh, carbon neutral or, or neither is briquette for that matter, but uh, wood, whatever comes in, whatever it pulls in while the tree is, is, is full and big, uh, is released uh, at the moment that you're grilling. So it is definitely carbon neutral as well. Um, and you know, I'm, I would be the last one to use all these catchwords with uh, with any type of product, but we have definitely gone through some uh, extensive work and um, and uh, sourcing to to get to to really provide the consumer a, a product that they can feel good about using, and that um, not only is environmentally friendly, but uh, it, it is also the easiest product to use in the market since it comes all in one. So even if you're not a, a huge green person, but you still feel like doing your part just a bit, um, and you haven't found an alternative uh, for uh, uh, for something that uh, that's a little more environmentally friendly, uh, I would definitely recommend a product. It's a it's something you can feel good about. Felipe Correa joining us here on the Barbecue Central Show. He is the co-founder and VP of Business Development for Innovative Barbecue Solutions that makes one light charcoal. Felipe, where can people go to find out more about the product? Well, they can definitely go to uh, to our website. It's uh, www.onelightcharcoal.com. There you'll see a little bit more about uh, us, the story. Uh, you can also will be able to take a look at uh, where the product is being sold. And um, if you have, um, uh, for example, right now we're selling to uh, Whole Foods nationwide. Uh, we also have select uh, Walmarts being sold in Texas. And if you're lucky enough to be in uh, Louisiana or, or Texas, we are selling in, uh, in many HEBs now. Um, and um, one uh, one great account that we picked up uh, uh, at the end of last year, and uh, a shout out to um, to all those boys and girls that um, uh, we are um, on the Army Air Force Exchange Service now, which means that you can buy it um, uh, in different bases, uh, both nationally and international. Nice. So if you uh, if you're a person in uniform, uh, give it a shot. You'll definitely find it on your PBX. 
All right, Felipe Correa, again, co-founder, VP of product development for, I'm sorry, business development of Innovative Barbecue Solutions. The company makes one light charcoal. Felipe, I appreciate the conversation. Thanks for coming on tonight. Hey, had a blast. Thanks, Greg. Best, right. of, uh, best of luck with your show. Thanks. Take care. There he is. Take care. Felipe Correa, just like saying it, Felipe Correa uh, from Innovative Barbecue Solutions, a company that makes one light charcoal. Uh, the inside joke, of course, is that I uh, got two bags uh, from Felipe, and unfortunately, uh, I didn't realize that you had to actually take that big cardboard thing that looked that I thought that I mis- that I mistook for the chimney. Uh, I didn't take that out. I thought that was the chimney part, and uh, evidently, that's where some of the other mix-ups uh, with some of the other people that have been happening. So that's going to get reworked. Uh, but again, once it was lit, I mean that, that that was some really good quality lump charcoal, without a doubt. All right, we're going to step away real quick. We're going to come back and talk with Derek Riches. And then don't forget, coming up for a segment, we have your giveaways, frog mats, Cosmos, Q's, and Greenleaf Barbecue Wine-Infused Smokewoods. So stick around for that. Thanks again to Felipe Correa of Innovative Barbecue Solutions. Stick around. We'll be right back. You're listening to the Barbecue Central Show. The future of barbecue is already here at thebarbecueguru.com. From the amazing guru that monitors and controls the temperatures of any charcoal, wood, or electric pit to the Caldera Tallboy Knockdown Smoker. Yes, it breaks down and stores flat, yet it's still a robust, sturdy, portable cooker and smokehouse. It also serves as an efficient temperature-controlled convection oven using wood or charcoal. The Tallboy is designed to fit all catering pans and can be used as a warming oven. You can cook in any style you choose, like ribs, chicken, jerky, vegetable smoke, cheese, whatever you want. Take it to KCBS competitions and unload it from the truck of your car. The BarbecueGuru.com is where you'll find the Caldera 3-Bay Caterer. It's stainless steel and uses charcoal or sterno for chafing purposes. And it doubles as a 3-Bay sink or wash station with hot water and knocks down in seconds with no tools required for transportation and storage. The future of barbecue is here at the BarbecueGuru.com. That's www.thebbqguru.com or call 1-800-288-GURU. Barbecue fans travel from all over the country to learn the secrets of real pit barbecue from Grand Champion Pitmaster Conrad Haskins. Now take your skills to the next level with a Barbecue Institute Pitmaster class. You'll learn how to make sauces, rubs, and smoke mouth-watering barbecue every time you cook. Your new skills will impress friends and family, and some of our graduates have gone on to success with barbecue businesses and TV fame. For more information, visit bbqclass.com. Are you one of the grillers out there that want to add true authentic wood smoke to your grilled foods? You know what? I feel your pain, Central Lights, and that's why I want to tell you about the Flavor Dome Smoker Box. The Flavor Dome is made of 100% stainless steel, heavy gauge, weighing in at three and a quarter pounds. This thing is built to last a lifetime, and heck, with that weight, you could use it to fight off creeping marauders looking to take your steaks off your grills. Its revolutionary dual lid technology produces a cleaner, smoother tasting smoke, and the low profile design with that inverted deep V channel allows it to sit right on the flavorizer bars and you can put your grill grate right back on top of it and continue cooking. Now Central Ice, you know I own a flavor dome and I absolutely love it. It works on 90% of all gas grills and don't forget to take advantage of the special price when you order the flavor dome and the Ribolator together. Visit Ribolator.com for more information. Central Lights, let's not listen to what the Surgeon General has to say about it and let's get hooked on smoking together with the flavor dome. Won't you try yours today? Forget going from site to site to get all your barbecue and grilling supplies and make your first and final stop at fredsmusicandbarbecue.com. In the market for a new barbecue pit, we have all the big name brands like Big Green Egg and more. As a matter of fact, Fred's is staffed by eggheads and carries all the parts and accessories for the Big Green Egg. More of a pellet head, you say? Fred's is the pellet grill superstore with grills in stock from Traeger, Green Mountain, and Country Smokers from Louisiana Grills. Fred also carries smokers from Cook Shack, Bradley, and Weber as well, as well as a full lineup of charcoal grills. And once you're outfitted with your new smoker or grill, you'll find absolutely everything you need to make your barbecue or grilling experience a success. Fred is also the creator and distributor of Tasty Licks barbecue products, including their great line of rubs, spices, and sauces. you got to try them. You can also get your hands on a full lineup of marinades, accessories, lump charcoal, wood chips, pellets, chunks, and even the great grilling tools from Stephen Reichland of Barbecue You Favor. Check Fred out on the web at fredsmusicandbbq.com or check out their fully stocked showroom in beautiful Shillington, PA. 
Introducing Cosmos Q. Cosmos injections and marinades use only the finest ingredients, and they mix easily, never clotting or caking. From our beef injection to our pork injection, you're guaranteed to wow your friends, family, and judges. And don't forget to check out our newest marinade, Cosmos Chicken Soak, for that moist and tender chicken you're gonna love. You can find all of Cosmos award-winning products at CosmosQ.com. Cosmos Q, the new generation. Taste the difference. Big, 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 name interviews. big name interviews. Coverage of Competition Barbecue. Competition Barbecue. And the only host willing to give his honest opinion on all topics in the world of barbecue. It's the Barbecue Central Show. Barbecue Central Show. All right, we are back. It's the really big barbecue show on the Barbecue Central Radio Networks. This portion of the show brought to you by D Dogs Barbecue Rubs and Sauces. You know you love D Dogs Barbecue Rubs and Sauces, but would you like to buy them locally? Well, hell yes, you would. Who wants to pay the shipping? Well, then D Dog needs your help. Send him the name, address, and phone number of your local barbecue store, farmer's market, or grocery store, and Darren will take care of the rest. But you got to do them that solid. Email all that info to Darren, D A R I N, Darren at D Dogs bbq.com he will get you hooked up jones as we all know by now d dogs barbecue rubs and sauces are better than ketchup yeah! 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 all right let's go to the hotline joining me now talk about all the cool things that are happening in the world of barbecue and grilling None other than monthly guest contributor Derek Riches from About.com. Derek, how are you? Good. How are you doing, Greg? I am doing very well. Thanks for joining me tonight, as always. Uh, lots of uh, things to cover here over the course of our segment, but wanted to go ahead and get your quick opinion. I just had uh, Felipe Correa of One Light Charcoal, or I guess that would be Innovative Barbecue Solutions, the company that makes One Light Charcoal. You've had some experience with that. What do you think of it? Uh, yeah, I tried those out about a year or so ago. Um, I think it works really well. It lights up really easily, and you know, it, it does. It produces a good quality charcoal there. Um, you know, it's perfect for for picnics or for camping. Is you can just grab the bag and you have everything, including the match you need to light it. So it's it's, it's a great product, I think. Did you have any issue with understanding the directions about how you had to pull that big cardboard thing out of the middle to actually expose the chimney, or did you actually mistake that for the chimney at some point? Um, no, actually, I, I knew to take that out. Uh-oh. Oh, great. So I'm just an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> well, no big surprise there, Derek. I think we all know that. Well, so, I, you know, it's probably a common mistake, common mistake. I'm sure. I'm sure it is. I'm sure Mike uh, or Felipe just said that just to make me feel good, too. And I appreciate that to no end. Uh, so you think it's definitely worth the pickup regardless, though? Yeah, I think if you know if you're on the go and you need to, you need some charcoal, it's a great product to grab and and, and take with you because you don't need anything else with it. All right, so first on the agenda tonight, and I had this guy, uh, the sales and director guy, I believe it was last week, Bruce Bjorkman, Mister Barbecue, whatever that means, uh, and he was the sales and marketing guy for Mac Grills, M A K. This is a higher end, uh, substantially higher priced pellet cooker. But uh, I guess one of the, the flagship selling points is that it's made in the USA. So uh, for the people that might have missed the show last week, go ahead and kind of break down Mac, and we'll go from there. Um, yeah. Um, it's basically – it's a new product coming out about – sort of shipping out about a year ago. Uh, it's a pellet grill uh, similar to Traeger, which is now no longer made in the United States. And um, – I think one of the, the great claims to this unit is it really actually can produce a high temperature cook uh, for you. Um, you know, a lot of the pellet units out there, they'll do low and slow really well, but when it comes to high temperature, you, you can't get a good sear on anything. The Mac grill um, actually can hit higher temperatures. You can actually sear foods on it. Uh, and, you know, like you said, also, it's, it's pretty pricey, running around $2,000 for one of these, puts it above most pellets, but. Um, you know, it's engineered really, really well. I like the uh, the uh, the feed design on it. It doesn't seem to um, clog up or back up like uh, some units. And the computer control on it's a lot more sophisticated. So um, you know, it's a, it's a great unit if you're willing to put the the money into it. Uh, and it's really well built. 
So given the fact that it's made in the USA, that the componentry is supposedly better and you have some more uh, higher temperature options, if you're comparing the Mac grill versus the Fast Eddie pellet grill, is there a lot of similarities there or are there, are there definite differences? Um, there are some differences. Um, you know, you look at the Mac grill, it looks a lot more like a traditional grill. Um, you know, Eddie's unit, you know, it's a, it's a large box unit. And the actual cooking area is relatively small. Um, this is a smaller unit. Uh, it's a lot more self-contained. Uh, it doesn't have kind of the depth in there, and I don't know how much effect that really is going to have on, you know, the cooking difference. Um, you know, I, th- I think they're relatively comparable in, in many regards. Um, Especially and, price. You know, this is more expensive. Right, Again. right. A couple hundred bucks more uh, for the Mac grill than for that Fast Eddie cooker, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're looking at putting more money into it. And, you know, as far as the functionality of it, I think they're fairly comparable. Um, you know, Ed Morin knows his stuff, and, and the, the, the Fast Eddie cooker is uh, really well built. So, you know, I think they are fairly comparable. Uh, maybe a stylistic difference for, for people, maybe. But still, either either or, you're, you're paying uh, top dollar for these cookers. So uh, just know that that going in, you're, you're going to be at the higher threshold for, for entry on these type of cookers versus some of the other ones. So, again, that's MacGrills, M-A-K-Grills dot com. We move on to the Charbroils Upscaled Big Easy Turkey Fryer. Tell us about that. Well, you know, a couple of years ago, they came out with this turkey fryer thing, which looks like a big bucket, you know, really. Uh, you drop your turkey down in there and you turn it on and, and it, you, it cooks by infrared. Uh, it's been a pretty popular product for them. So uh, this year now they're introducing this uh, more deluxe version. Um, it's it's uh, a larger body. It, it has a larger capacity. But the real big difference is this unit actually has a lid and it comes with a cooking grate. So you actually can uh, grill on it uh, where the other one, you know, you really couldn't. So this gives you a lot more versatility. Uh, you know, it'll still um, cook your turkeys. I mean, if you want to call it frying, there's no oil involved, so I don't necessarily call it frying, but, um, you know, I'll still do all of that. The other addition that this one has is it actually has a smoker box. In the old version, in the old Big Easy, you just kind of dropped wood chips down in the bottom and, and they just kind of smoldered. This actually has a... a a smoker box that goes in the unit so you know you can have a little more control of the smoke you generate and with having the lid on it you can kind of hold that smoke in better so uh, you know they bill it as a as a smoker and a roaster and a grill and as a fryer so uh, you know I think they're trying to capture something that does everything Derek Riches uh, from about.com joining us so is this going to be replacing the original Big Easy? I think I think they're going to have both units, at least for the foreseeable future. This new one's about $60, $70 more, running around $200. So I think they're going to try and go with both of them for a while. In your opinion, is is one better than the other? Is the gimmicked-up version uh, worth the money? Well, you know, if if you want that extra versatility uh, and you don't have a grill, then, you know, maybe this is something you want to look at. The uh, diameter on the cooking grate is about 15 inches, so it's not big. You're not going to get a lot of cooking space as a grill. Um, you know, I think that you might be better off going with a grill that grills, and then if you really want the, the fryer, go with the more basic unit and use it that way. All right, so uh, we move on to the last topic for the night. This thing is called a can cooker. Now, I went onto the website and actually took a look at this thing. Uh, certainly from a... Uh, you know, I was going to say venereal perspective, but that's completely the wrong word. But from an, an aesthetic perspective, uh, it, it certainly has a cachet, a look about it. So go ahead and kind of explain what this is all about. Well, basically, it, to me, it looks like an old-style milk can, yeah. you know, from the, the 30s or something. Um, it's, it's a can. It's got handles on the side. It's got a lid that clamps down on the top. Uh, the idea is that you open it up, you throw whatever food you want to put in there, you know, a chicken, some potatoes, carrots, whatever, to clamp it down. And you can then you can put it on the side burner of your grill. You can put it right in a campfire. Um, it, it's just it's designed to be a complete self-contained unit that you can put over any kind of fire, and it will just you know cook whatever you want to cook. Um, yeah, an interesting idea. Have you played around with? It? I haven't actually gotten my hands on one of these yet. I'm going to see one in about two weeks or so. 
and um, I, you know, it sells for about 110 bucks or so. Wow. Uh, I think if you buy, if actually, if you think you get it on a special, um, that they're off. Oh, oh no, it's actually, I'm sorry, it's about 90 bucks. So it's kind of an expensive unit. And from what I've seen, I've talked to a few people who've had one. Its actual capacity is not all that great. It's really not that big. So um, you really couldn't cook a ton of food in it. Um, it's not going to make barbecue. Uh, it's kind of, in my opinion, like a uh, campfire crock pot. Or pressure cooker, perhaps? Yeah, like a pressure cooker. Yeah, yeah, something like that. All right, and that's uh, cancooker.com. Uh, so 110 retail, but you might be able to find it cheaper online. Yeah, we're talking with Derek Riches from About.com. BBQ.About.com is where you can read Derek's blogs. He's always updating. He's got a lot of great reviews and uh, recipes and taking polls all the time. And you see, of course, that he's on here once a month as well on the Barbecue Central Show. Derek, always appreciate the time and the conversation. We'll look for you again next month. Yeah, it was great. Talk to you soon. All right, take care. There he is, Derek Riches. Again, BBQ.About.com is his website. Talking about the can cooker, the charbroils, easy a big easy turkey fryer, the upscaled version, gives you the grilling capabilities on the top, and then the Mac pellet cookers as well. Always love that. All right, Central Light, your time to win. Start calling in now. If you want to use the toll free number, do it. 877 448 0433. You can also dial the local Cleveland 216 220 0966. Call in to win now. Stand by. You're listening to the Barbecue Central Show. Everyone knows rotisserie food tastes the best. But until now, the only things you could rotisserie were whole chickens, roasts, and the like. But all that is about to change. Introducing the newest product in barbecue technology, the Ribolator. The Ribolator will easily attach to your existing spit rod in minutes, allowing you to rotisserie foods you never thought possible. Now you can rotisserie ribs, fish, burgers, pork chops, steaks, chicken, and all the veggies you can eat. The only limit is your imagination. The Ribolator will fit medium to large gas grills, as well as 55-gallon ugly drum smokers. There's even a new model that will be available soon to fit 22.5-inch Weber kettle grills. And if you're looking to add smoke flavor to your grill, then you absolutely have to check out the Flavor Dome Smoker Box. It fits snugly into your gas or kettle grill, and thanks to its patented lid design, provides up to an hour of smoke. Go to Ribolator.com to order. That's R-I-B-O-L-A-T-O-R.com. Or call 206-999-0962. That's 206-999-0962. 0962. Do it now. Hey, gang. Rempy here to talk about Fred's Music and Barbecue. You know, Fred Bernardo has been in this business for a long time. He has his place in Shillington, Pennsylvania, but he is one of the premier online retailers of everything that has to do with barbecue and grilling. Plus, he is the creator of Tasty Licks Barbecue Rubs and Seasonings. It's not just rubs. He's got wonderful sauces as well. you got to try those out. But what's great about Fred's is that you can go there and and do all of your shopping from cooker to accoutrements to cookbooks to wood chunks and chips. Whatever you need, you can find it all right there at Fred's Music and BBQ.com. Fred is a trusted online retailer, and it's so key to deal with somebody that isn't going to try and get over on you. He's got a huge inventory. It's all competitively priced, and it gets to you promptly. Go to Fred's Music and BBQ right now. See what they have to buy and outfit your arsenal right now. And don't forget to pick up some rub and sauce at TastyLicksBBQ.com. It's Fred's Music and Barbecue. The future of barbecue is already here at TheBarbecueGuru.com. From the amazing guru that monitors and controls the temperatures of any charcoal, wood, or electric pit to the Caldera Tallboy Knockdown Smoker. Yes, it breaks down and stores flat, yet it's still a robust, sturdy, portable cooker and smokehouse. It also serves as an efficient temperature-controlled convection oven using wood or charcoal. The Tallboy is designed to fit all catering pans and can be used as a warming oven. You can cook in any style you choose, like ribs, chicken, jerky, vegetable smoke, Jeez, whatever you want. Take it to KCBS competitions and unload it from the truck of your car. The BarbecueGuru.com is where you'll find the Caldera 3-Bay Caterer. It's stainless steel and uses charcoal or sterno for chafing purposes. And it doubles as a 3-Bay sink or wash station with hot water and knocks down in seconds with no tools required for transportation and storage. The future of barbecue is here at the BarbecueGuru.com. That's www.thebbqguru.com. Or call 1-800-288-GURU. 
Introducing Cosmos Q. Cosmos injections and marinades use only the finest ingredients, and they mix easily, never clotting or caking. From our beef injection to our pork injection, you're guaranteed to wow your friends, family, and judges. And don't forget to check out our newest marinade, Cosmos Chicken Soak, for that moist and tender chicken you're gonna love. You can find all of Cosmos award-winning products at CosmosQ.com. Cosmos Q, the new generation. Taste the difference. Barbecue fans travel from all over the country to learn the secrets of real pit barbecue from Grand Champion Pitmaster Conrad Haskins. Now take your skills to the next level with a Barbecue Institute Pitmaster class. You'll learn how to make sauces, rubs, and smoke mouth-watering barbecue every time you cook. Your new skills will impress friends and family, and some of our graduates have gone on to success with barbecue businesses and TV fame. For more information, visit bbqclass.com. Sometimes it's all about the free stuff. Call now to win something succulent. All right, wrapping it up with one more segment here on the regular show. Thanks again to Derek Riches for joining me. BBQ.about.com is his show. This portion of the Barbecue Central show brought to you by the good folks at the Barbecue Guru, makers of automatic pit temperature control devices, not to mention a host of other barbecue and grilling-related products that make your life easier. Two ways to find them. Hook them up on the interwebs at the bbqguru.com. You can also dial them toll-free, 800-288-GURU. Speaking of toll-free, you can dial into this show at 877-448-0433, 877-448-0433. You can also email the show bbqcentralradio at gmail.com. All right, let's uh, go ahead to the phone lines, get a winner. We go to area code 281, Barbecue Central Radio Show. Name and where you're calling from. Yes, this is Ron calling from Houston, Texas. Ron Liss. Yes. (laughs) It's a long time, buddy. What's up? Oh, I just haven't been listening to you too often. I had had some uh, medical problems earlier in December, so... Just getting back in the groove again. Every everything is okay though with you now. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's give you the quad, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Right, well, I'm very happy to have you back in the fold, Ron, and uh, always appreciate you listening. So you are first one in, so you get your list of stuff to choose from. We have the Cosmos Q's three uh, three prize pack. We have the wine infused oak wood, and we also have frog mats. So go ahead and pick your pleasure. The Cosmos. Cosmos Q going to Ron in Texas. That's not going to have uh, too far to, to ship to you, so that'll be uh, that'll be very good. You know the drill, Ron. Go ahead and send me your shipping info. I'll get it out to Darian the Cosmos Q, and you will get hooked up. Okay, very right. good. I appreciate it, and nice talking to you again. Thanks for calling in, Ron. Appreciate it. There he is. Okay. Ron from Texas. It's bigger in Texas, right? Bigger in Texas. Uh, area code 301, name and where you're calling from. Uh, Jeff Bradley from Rockville, Maryland. Jeff Bradley. Maryland representing tonight. How are you tonight, Jeff? I'm doing all right. Yourself? Uh, I'm doing very well. Thank you for asking. Uh, We just gave away Cosmos Q, so if you were calling for that, uh, I hate to say you're out of luck, but we do have frog mats, and we do have the Greenleaf Barbecue wine-infused oak chunks. So if you are interested in either one of those, just let me know. Uh, definitely interested in the frog mat. And you do have a cooker or the ability to cook indirect because you cannot put these over direct flame. Yeah, yeah, I have a, a ceramic cooker. Oh, so great. Okay, so be perfect. all you need to do is uh, email me your shipping info at bbqcentralradio at gmail.com. Specify what kind of cooker and the great size, and I'll get that over to the good guys at Frog Mats. We'll get you hooked up. Sounds good. All Thank right. you very much. Thanks for calling in, Jeff. Appreciate it. Beat it. Jeff from Maryland calling it. Love uh, Maryland, uh, Texas. Two guys, we had our first guest was from Texas, too. Felipe Correa. Looking for one more winner, and that is, let's see, Frogmat is given away, and Cosmos Q. So we have the Green Leaf Barbecue Wood Infused Oak Wood Wine stuff. Yeah. Yeah! 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 
Let's go to area code 937, Barbecue Central Radio Show. Name and where you're calling from. Greg. Yes. Yeah, I just I, I missed the uh, competition. Who is this? Uh, it's Mike Lang, another pint, please. Oh, yeah. Twitter friend. What's up, Mike? How are you? <laughs> I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing very well. Thanks for calling. Well, first of all, thanks for calling in. Did you use the uh, the 800 number? Uh, my, phone, my phone's good now. Say it again. Did you use the uh, toll-free 800 number? Yes, I did. Oh, yes. Yeah. Awesome. Well worth it. Uh, Mike, we have left over. Uh, two prizes have gone already. We have the Green Leaf Barbecue. These are uh, wine-infused oakwood chunks, and they're fabulous. If you're interested, I can hook you up with that. That'd be great. All right, so uh, all you need to do, Mike, is email me your shipping info, bbqcentralradio at gmail.com, and I will get that down to Tim Bryan, and we'll get you squared away, buddy. Greg, I can do it. Thanks. All right, thanks, Mike, for calling in. Appreciate it. Another pint, please, on Twitter, by the way. Twitter friends calling in. Love that. Got to love the Twitter friends. All right, so that does us for the prizes. Uh, if you're looking to call in anymore, don't call in anymore. Get that big stuff out of here. Brand new toll-free number, 877-448-0433. You can call in if you want to weigh in on a guest or if you have a take about barbecue and grilling. That's fine. I don't mind that. Still no word from executive producer John Marcus on if a season two is going to be happening for Barbecue Pitmasters. Uh, might as well tell you about some programming notes that we have coming up here in the near future. Next week, uh, it, an odd week for me because I am open right now. I have no show going on for March 2nd, but that'll uh, quickly be rectified. And then starting on the 9th, we have three of four barbecue round tables booked. Three of four barbecue round tables booked. And that is awesome. It's going to be this time around, we're going back to the competition side of things. I have made extraneous efforts on getting the top elite members of the KCBS to sit down and talk about it. So starting March 9th, we will be doing the Ribs Roundtable with John Patty of JP Custom Smoke. He was number one in ribs last year. We have Robert McGee from Munchin' Hogs at the Hilton. He was number three in ribs last year. We have Dan Hickson from Three Eyes Barbecue. He was number five in ribs last year. So a star-studded panel for that. The week after that, on the 16th, we have the Chicken Roundtable. Kelly Wirtz of Four Legs Up Barbecue. And we have Joe Amore of Smoky Mountain Smokers. And then we have Troy Black of LearnToQ.com. Tentatively, the 23rd, the Pork Butt Roundtable, Scott Key of Little Pig Town, Dave Busca, Butcher Barbecue, and the Slabs, Kyle Laval, theslabs.com. Uh, number one in uh, pork was Little Pig Town. Number seven last year in pork was Butcher Barbecue. Number five was Kyle Laval and uh, theslabs.com. Still no brisket roundtable date set, but I do have number one, number seven, and number five respectively in brisket, or perhaps I should say one, two, and three in Team of the Year 2009 standings from last year, Pellet Envy, I Smell Smoke, and Iowa Smoky D's. So star-studded four-pack of roundtables coming up next month. I'll keep you up to date as far as that goes, and uh, we will go from there. We're going to go ahead and wrap this portion of the show up. I want to thank my guests, Felipe Correa of Innovative Barbecue Solutions, the company that makes One Light Charcoal. OneLightCharcoal.com is the website to check that out. I'm going to get some more bags, and I'm going to light it right by gosh and by gory if it kills me. Also, thanks to Derek Riches, monthly show contributor. BBQ.About.com is his website. And we will see you if you're exiting and not staying for After Dark. We'll see you back again next Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to step away for news, and then we will come back with the After Dark show with smoking guitar player himself, Fred Bernardo of Fred's Music and BBQ.com. That'll be in about uh, five or six minutes. Stand by for news. 
See you on the after dark side of things. You're listening to the Barbecue Central Show.